So last week we did an updated six builder guide and raised awareness that Clash of Clans was going to redesign the builder base in 2023. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And with that redesign in mind, I think we need to make a valid attempt to fix our Rush Builders Hall 9 base just in case they add a new level of Builders Hall. You never know or they make the format so cool that we really want to play it from the start because it's always possible. To be clear, if you do not have the six builder unlocked, continue to follow this building upgrade priority layout. I'll make sure it's linked down in the description below for you and continue to follow the other guide. Save this guide for a later date. Now, if you do have the six builder unlocked, we're gonna switch into this upgrade priority base, also linked down in the description below. All these buildings on the far left should be fully maxed out if you follow the six builder guide. Now we're going to move down into these buildings. I'm sure most of you guys probably already started fixing this just like I did. And this is the order that I went in. We started by upgrading our builder barracks to level 11. That way we unlock all of the troops for this village. Then I got a little lazy, not going to lie, got a little lazy and I started upgrading the mega mine, the mine, the push trap, as well as the spin trap to the maximum level for Builders Hall level nine. They're cheap, I couldn't help myself. Then we moved into upgrading the air bombs because we have to deal with those beta minion dropship armies, super powerful army at Builders Hall level nine. Then we upgraded the multi-mortar because it was one additional level and I wanted to go ahead and slow down the cannon carts a little bit. And now we're at the lava launcher. So as you can see, when we look at the full layout itself, we're going heavyweight defenses and then working our way down into the lower weighted defenses. The way I'm gonna do this is more than likely just going to be focusing in on one building at a time, taking it all the way up to level nine. But in the meantime, don't forget that you get your resources by doing your three attacks a day, which I still have 10 hours to go, 19 minutes until I can do more attacks. And don't forget you can get some resources from your season pass, like this one right here. That's very nice. And then of course, if you have the storage capacity and the raid medals, you can buy some resources over here to speed up the process. But unfortunately, I cannot do that right now because I claim the other resources. Way to go me, right? So also, this shouldn't have to be said, but I know somebody needs to hear it. <laughs> this is a PVP format. So make sure that you change back to your defensive layout once you've kind of prioritized a little bit and started your upgrades. So this will be my defensive layout. I'll make sure I link this one as well down in the description below because I've been asked many times for it. And once I have the resources, we will be upgrading our lava launcher to level eight. No, I'm not gonna use any hammers on this side because those are reserved for my home village always. Now, when we get into our star laboratory, I've gotten a little offset, like very unfocused here because we've done a couple of upgrades since we got the six builder. We did the boxer giant to level 18, the bomber to level 16. We all also upgraded the drop ship to level 16 the hog glider to level 17 the beta minion to level 18 and then i saw a really cool army which i'm going to show you in a minute and i got a little distracted and started the upgrade on the sneaky archer so i think what we're going to do is refocus back in and level a couple of troops to max first to include the hog glider the drop ship and also the bomber and then we're going to transition back into our sneaky archers and leveling up our super pekka now keep in mind this is just how i'm gonna do things there's really no right or wrong way to fix a base you know because it's really kind of opinionated and it all depends on how often you play the game because sometimes i even forget to get over here and do my attacks and get the resources it happens to the best of us but if there's a faster way let me know down in the comments below and i would definitely want to try that okay <laughs> now this is the army i was talking about a moment ago this guy's got 56 level 18 sneaky archers five of the level 18 bombers and one level 18 super pekka to include his battle machine and this dude straight up wrecked my base he starts out by using his bombers to kind of open up the walls which are still super low level and we're gonna you know obviously upgrade those dead last anyways and then he's gonna start dropping the sneaky archers and they're gonna pick off buildings around in this section it's a little spammy if you will it's trying to kind of look for those bombs or whatever he drops the battle machine to the 
right and a super P.E.K.K.A. to the left to basically tank for his sneaky archers. Taking out the lava launcher, very easy. He drops his final bomber to open up the compartment to the builder's hall itself. I mean, this dude's super skilled, man. I was like, wow, look at this guy, right? And then he brings his sneaky archers in to take down my builder hall. Looks like the super P.E.K.K.A. survived, but the battle machine did not. And then he brings the sneaky archers up from the bottom to pick off more defenses there. Looks like there's only a few defenses remaining, but he's not spamming his sneaky archers. That's the key here. So he will drop them periodically to take out defenses. Here comes the main group to take out the roaster, move into the crusher, as well as the mega Tesla, and then he just completely steamrolls me. I was just like, oh my gosh. Now this is the other army that I was referencing when I was talking about the air bombs earlier. We got 36 of the beta minions, four of the drop ships, and he does something really cool with the hog gliders. He's going to start up top just like the previous attack. Obviously, there's a weakness there. He's going to drop the beta minions to pick off the hidden Tesla, start working on the gold mines. Then he's going to drop one, two, and three of the drop ships to move in where my town hall, my builder's hall, is located. Now, as he gets closer to the air bombs, he's going to drop his battle machine to the right and sneak in the hog gliders because when they crash into defenses, they stun them. I mean, I was just like... <laughs> Here comes the other hog glider going in there to stun the Mega Tesla. The only thing I didn't like about this army was the fact that he lost so many of his troops trying to get through those heavyweight defenses, but it doesn't necessarily matter because he does have a level 30 battle machine. So we're going to speed this one up. That way you can see the army for yourself. The battle machine is going to go around and take out my weaker level hidden Teslas, work on the weaker level double cannon. This is why we're fixing our rush base because it's becoming more and more difficult to win all the way up in 3600, 3700 range. But if you are a phenomenal Builder Hall 9 attacker, we do want to see your armies. Make sure you join our Discord server and send me a mod mail. That way we can record you.